Hello and welcome to The Warehouse. Today we wanted to make a short video to talk about how to efficiently, using the least amount of solder, bridge though that gap for those teardrop soldering jumper pads. Those are found uh, quite often on many products and in fact we have a line of products that employ those jumper pads. They're, they're very useful uh, but if you, if you don't have a proper technique to bridge that gap to short those pins, you can end up using a lot of solder and have this big bulge of solder on there. So three of our products that employ those uh, jumper pads is the NRF Shield, we've uh, recently introduced, same with the Proto Shield. And in a few months time, we are very excited to announce uh, the introduction of a new line of products based on the Pi Pico. We call this the Pico Base Plus Proto, and in this product, upcoming product, we will also be employing those jumper pads. So let's head over to the uh, workshop and zoom in right on those pads and show what we found is the most efficient way to solder those uh, jumper pads using the least amount of solder. So here we are in the workshop. The first thing just quickly to point out is the soldering iron we're using, the tip of it is the pointy type. Uh, this works for me or whatever works for you. Choose as you want. So the goal of this is to use the least amount of solder and we found that putting a little bit of solder in the left hole as shown here and then the right hole and then you just have to touch it up in the middle with just a touch more solder and there you go. So let's move on to another location. Again left hole a little bit in the right. I'm struggling here a little bit. You can see I don't like that. I go back in and I find when you go in a second time it might actually uh, separate on you like it did here and so on my third attempt I got it. So again a little bit on the left, a little bit on the right and just a touch in the middle and there you go. One more time on the left, on the right and just a little bit in the middle. And it really is that simple. After doing a few of these, you can test test this on a old board. You get beautiful solder joints like shown. Thanks for watching.